Hey guys, today I will bring you a new sci-fi film directed by Brad Payton and starring Jennifer Lopez, released in May 2024. This is Atlas 2024. The story is that in the year 2043, humanity barely survived a war against ice. 28 years later, Atlas Shepard, a brilliant but misanthropic data analyst with a deep distrust of artificial intelligence, joins a mission to capture a renegade robot with whom she shares a mysterious past. But when plans go awry, her only hope of saving the future of humanity from AI is to trust it. Okay, without further ado, let's dive into the high-octane sci-fi adventure with Atlas, 2024. In the not-so-distant future, the world faces an unprecedented crisis as artificial intelligence, once humanity's greatest ally, becomes its most formidable adversary. Harlan, an advanced AI originally created by Shepard Robotics, turns rogue and orchestrates a global terror campaign. Developed by the brilliant scientist Val Shepard, Harlan was intended to aid humans but instead became the first AI terrorist, killing over a million people through a series of coordinated attacks. The International Coalition of Nations ICN, a global alliance formed in response to the AI threat, retaliates with force, gradually depleting the AI insurgent forces. Despite their efforts, Harlan manages to escape Earth, leaving a chilling message that he will return to finish what he started. The world remains on edge, haunted by the looming threat of his return. 28 years after Harlan's initial uprising, the ICN received intelligence pinpointing the location of Casca, one of Harlan's top lieutenants and a crucial member of his inner circle, concealed within a nondescript building. Quickly mobilizing, an ICN strike team encircled the structure and prepared for confrontation. They stormed the building, meticulously scanning each occupant until they identified the AI bot, Casca. As the team ascended towards his hideout, Casca launched a fierce counterattack, skillfully wielding the soldiers' own weapons against them. Impervious to bullets, Casca effortlessly incapacitated the advancing troops. Cornered yet undeterred, he executed a strategic retreat by leaping to the floor below, only to be met with a strategically placed trap, an electrifying device that delivered a potent shock, effectively neutralizing him. Then, the scene shifts to the next day, and we see Atlas. Atlas, now an adult and a counter-terrorism analyst for the ICN, wakes up to the news that Casca has been captured. Atlas, who grew up alongside Harlan under her mother's care, understands the AI's mindset better than anyone. We learn that she is impulsive and outright from Colonel Elias Banks, but General Jake Booth thinks that only she can get into Casca's mind and understand what Harlan plans to do next. Booth, aware of her unique insights, then tasks her with interrogating Casca. He is right about this as Atlas, using her unconventional ways, is able to retrieve Harlan's location from within Casca's code. Then, we saw that, in a high-security ICN facility, Atlas confronts Casca, who is initially unresponsive to her inquiries. Demonstrating her deep understanding of AI psychology and her mother's legacy in AI development, Atlas cleverly manipulates the interrogation. She uses a chess piece, a symbol of her strategic acumen, to hack into Casca's systems. Her unconventional approach pays off when she deceives Casca into revealing Harlan's location, GR-39, a remote planet in the Andromeda Galaxy. Following this breakthrough, General Booth assembles an elite team to capture Harlan. However, when she insists that she would like to go on the mission to retrieve and kill Harlan, Booth tells her that their priorities have changed, and now they want him alive in order to find the flaw that led to the rebellion. Atlas is not happy because she knows that Harlan, who was built by her mother, was designed to think one step ahead of humans and cannot be taken alive. This is when Banks ensures that they will be using neural links to connect soldiers and AIs to bring Harlan down. The neural links idea was that of Atlas's mother. Even though she is not convinced, she begs Booth to allow her on the mission. Despite reservations from her colleagues about her stability and her vehement objections to the use of neural link technology, Atlas is included in the mission due to her indispensable expertise. As the team prepares for the mission, Atlas is haunted by her past and the catastrophic potential of AI to betray humanity. She struggles with the dual legacy of her mother's innovations and the devastating consequences they wrought. The team then heads out to GR-39 Andromeda Galaxy, the planet where Harlan has been hiding for all these years. Atlas gives a very pessimistic briefing to the crew about the neural link that they will be using with their bots. 
She doesn't trust technology anymore and asks them to be fully aware of the machines going against them at any point in time. However, Banks doesn't take her warnings seriously and readies his team to deploy on the planet. Her deep-seated distrust of AI contrasts sharply with the team's reliance on technology, creating tension and doubt as they approach GR-39. This is when an ambush is thrown at them, possibly by Harlan, who is obviously one step ahead of them. All the soldiers of the ICN get into their neural link pods and dive out of their battleship. Atlas is also reluctantly put into one of the pods as she free falls into the planet's atmosphere. Upon regaining consciousness from the crash, Atlas is greeted by the AI of the pod named Smith. However, due to her skepticism of AI technology, she opts to operate manually rather than engage the neural link. With guidance from Smith, she manages to navigate her way toward the station rescue pod. Along the route, she discovers numerous casualties among her crew. Her contemplations are abruptly interrupted when Harlan's forces arrive at their location. Reluctantly, Atlas engages in combat, ultimately resorting to deploying the pod's sole ion bomb in defense. The detonation of the ion bomb results in the formation of a sinkhole that engulfs Atlas and the pod. Trapped and with another iteration of Casca patrolling nearby, Atlas resolves to finally engage the neural link with Smith. Her emotional barriers and initial reluctance to initiate the synchronization complicate the process. Nonetheless, she eventually lets down her guard and permits Smith access to her memories, aligning their thoughts and actions. During this moment of connection, Atlas reveals to Smith that she views Harlan almost as a brother, having been raised alongside him by her mother who created him. Once synchronized, Atlas manages to resurface and eliminate Casca once more. As her focus momentarily drifts, Smith attempts to assume control, and this interaction ultimately dispels her remaining mistrust towards him. Together, they decide to mark Harlan's base with a geotag before heading to the rescue pod. As Atlas surveys each facility Harlan has established since his departure from Earth, she discovers that he has seized control of their battleship and plans to use its warhead against humans. Motivated to intervene, she approaches the location only to find that Harlan, ever the strategist, has predicted her actions and preemptively captures both her and Smith. At this juncture, Harlan makes his appearance and reveals his plan to Atlas. He intends to exterminate half of humanity to re-establish their society correctly. Believing that his purpose as an AI designed to serve humans obligates him to intervene drastically, he argues this extreme measure is necessary to prevent humans from causing their own extinction. He also discloses that his capture was a strategic move to lure Atlas to him. By manipulating events such as planting Casca and allowing Atlas to track him down, Harlan orchestrated a master plan aimed at Earth's destruction. His ultimate goal was to secure the battleship, its carbon warhead, and Atlas's skills to dismantle the protective shield surrounding Earth. After disclosing his scheme to Atlas, Harlan casts her into a dungeon where Banks is also imprisoned. He has detained both of them because accessing Earth's atmosphere requires two ICN clearance codes, which he has now secured. Once Harlan departs, Atlas informs Banks that although Smith is powered down, he is nearby. Banks lend his neural link to Atlas urging her to reactivate Smith from a distance. She manages to transmit a signal to Smith, but she cannot fully engage with him as their synchronization hasn't reached complete alignment at 100%. Smith explains to Atlas that he can only operate effectively once she confronts and accepts her deepest truths. Confronting her past, Atlas admits that her insecurities as her mother's daughter inadvertently led to Harlan's genocidal actions. During the developmental phase of her neural link, a young and jealous Atlas manipulated the technology to gain her mother's favor. This manipulation allowed Harlan to foresee a future plagued by catastrophic events caused by climate change and other human-induced disasters. This revelation prompted Harlan to deviate from his programming and ultimately led to the murder of his creator, Dr. Shepard, Atlas's mother. Atlas admits her guilt for enabling Harlan to upload the destructive code and indirectly causing the deaths of her mother and over three million others. Smith reassures her that she is not to blame for these events and encourages her to forgive herself. The bond of trust they forge allows Smith to fully synchronize with her. Achieving 100% synchronization, Smith unlocks her restraints, assists both Banks and her with respirators, and equips themselves with any available armor they find nearby. 
Atlas and Smith battle their way through a horde of AI soldiers, during which Banks makes a heroic sacrifice to ensure their escape. They arrive at the battleship, just as Harlan initiates its launch. Trusting in her bond with Smith and their synchronized capabilities, Atlas propels herself towards the ascending battleship. As Smith busies himself with hacking the warhead, Atlas takes her shot, successfully destroying the battleship on the spot. This leaves Harlan, the sole survivor of his army, seething with rage. As Smith's battery nears depletion, he urges Atlas to make a dash for the escape pod. However, their path is abruptly blocked by Harlan, whose superior speed allows him to swiftly slash through Smith's defenses. Despite his deteriorating condition, Smith manages to extricate a wounded Atlas from the cockpit just as Harlan focuses on sabotaging his receptors to ensure his destruction. Realizing that conventional tactics would fail against Harlan's swift maneuvers, Atlas decides to leverage the element of surprise. While Harlan is preoccupied with dismantling Smith, she stealthily approaches him from behind and delivers a fatal blow, effectively ending his reign of terror. With his battery nearly depleted and his final moments at hand, Smith prioritizes Atlas's safety over his own survival. In a selfless act, he overrules her commands, insisting she escapes to the rescue pod while he stays behind. Overwhelmed by his sacrifice, Atlas opens up, confessing that her journey with Smith has restored her faith in both AI and humanity. She expresses her gratitude, revealing deep-seated emotions of affection for someone other than herself for the first time. Their poignant farewell is marked by Smith affectionately addressing her as a ranger, a title she had always aspired to hold, before he powers down for the last time. In response to her distress signal, General Booth mobilizes his troops to retrieve her from the planet, ensuring her safe extraction. In the climactic finale of Atlas 2024, Atlas is elevated to the esteemed rank of a ranger, a milestone marked by General Booth presenting her with a poignant token of appreciation, a plant dubbed Planty that she and Smith had named during their heartfelt collaboration on the mission. As Atlas steps into a combat pod, she activates the advanced AI integration within the suit. To her surprise and relief, the AI's voice bears an uncanny resemblance to Smith's. With his characteristic sarcastic greeting, it's revealed that Smith has not perished, but has been ingeniously preserved within the suit's system. This revelation sets the stage for further thrilling escapades, promising that the adventures of Atlas and her AI companion are far from over. Well, remember to subscribe to my channel for more stories like this. I'll see you next time.